glory, 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 glory be to God. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you, I am that I am, the lily of the valley, bright and morning star, the ancient of days, lion of the tribe of Judah, the Lord that was, the one that is, the one that is to come. We bless your holy name this morning. We adore you this morning. We give you praise this morning. All honor, all adoration unto you this morning. We have come before you today, Lord, because you are worthy of all our praises. You're worthy of all our honor. You're worthy of all our adoration. So blessed be that holy name. Thank you, our eternal rock of faith. Thank you, our King of Kings. Thank you, our Lord of Lords. Ancient of days, we magnify you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Blessed be the holy name. Thank you. Thank you, I am that I am. Lily of the valley would bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome, my Amen. sister. Good morning, sir. Amen. Happy yes, Monday. Sir. <laughs> Same here, sir. Lord, Father, we say thank you, Jesus, for welcoming to our Mr. Louis Story this morning. Come and have your way. Holy, 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 Lord, 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 Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in trepassing, blessed trinity. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord Almighty, early in the morning. Our songs shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty God. The tree passing, bless the tree. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You've got times and seasons in your own. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You called for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. But you have chosen. To call us your 
You are God. You are God. From the beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God by yourself. You are God. You are God. From the beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God of yourself. You are worthy of our praise. Oh, you are worthy of our praise. We call you as a is it? You are worthy of our praise. Oh, you are worthy of our praise. Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy of our praise this morning. We worship you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you so much, Jesus, because there is none like you. We are the ones of Sharon, the lady of the band, the band, the monster. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done, for what you're doing. It's a blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. So good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your kindness. We magnify you. We worship you. We adore you. We honor you. Father, we say, be thou glorified. We glorify you. We magnify you. Father, we say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for who you are in our life. For giving us another privilege to be in this week. Father, it's not by our power, it's not by our might, but it's by your special grace of God. Father, we say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, and Omega, we worship you, our God. Yes, you are worthy to be praised. You are our fellow. You are our Father, and Omega, we worship you, our God, you are worthy. To be praised, we give you all. We, we give you all. 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 Glory. We worship you, Jesus. We, we worship. Keep you, our God, glorious Lord, you are worthy to be 
praise. Let's sing it one more time. You are Alpha, Lord. You are Alpha. And Omega. We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all Glory. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, God. You are Lord, we worship you. We give you all the glory, Lord. We worship you. We give you worship you. Father, we worship you. We give you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, Father, we give you the beginning and the end. We worship you, Lord. We worship you this morning. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your guidance. Father, we cannot thank you. Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for safety. Lord, we worship you. Thank you. Thank you. We give you praise this morning, honor, adoration unto you. For who you are in our lives, Lord, we exalt you. For what you've been doing in our going and our coming, we exalt you. For every moment of our life of provision for us, we exalt you. For showing your love over our life, Lord, we exalt you. We say, be thou magnified, be thou exalted, be thou glorified this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. We glorify the Holy Spirit in our means. It's already here. So we're two or three uh, together. It's in that means. So it's here this morning, no doubt. But let's submit everything we are going to discuss this morning. That Holy Spirit will give us utterance. Holy Spirit will speak the mind of God to us. Holy Spirit will, un- will, will make us understand what the Lord is going to speak to us about this morning. That every area of our life that we need to see the Lord's words, that we need to hear the Lord speak this morning, that the power of Holy Ghost will take prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every conversation, every deliberation this morning, Holy Spirit, we totally surrender into your hand uh, that you will take preeminence. uh, You will take full control in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Holy Ghost, we lift up your, we lift up our heart into your hand this morning. Speak expressly. Let your word let it deliver. Let your word let it sanctify. Let your word let it make free. Let your word let it change heart. Let your word, Lord, let it modify our hearts uh, to the glory of the Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday and welcome again to the presence of the Lord. You know, um, it's always good when they say we gather together to meet with the Lord. I'm always excited about it. And I know that every one of us on this line too are excited because it is a, it's, it's the word of God that give life to our soul. It's the word of God that give life to our spirit. And that life that we have in our spirit and our soul is what give us enablement to continue to move forward to that glorious place where it's prepared for us. That doesn't allow fear to hold us back. Doesn't allow circumstances to hold us back. But the, 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 the food that the word of God in our heart is the one that's giving us energy to continue to pursue that hope of glory. And I pray this morning that that pursuit that we are pursuing, we will not miss out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That the fullness of his reward, we will we, we, we be the, the one that will be the recipient of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you everybody for joining this morning. We will be looking at a very vital 
study this morning and i uh, believe it's gonna we're gonna cover a couple of days with this study this morning uh but i pray that as we go through them this morning that the lord himself will speak to our heart it will not only speak to our heart it will transform our hearts that uh, what we will desire more what we will crave for more what we will look forward to more will be that word that word of God, that word that brings life, that word that, that delivers, that word that heals, that word that produces, that word that provides everything that we need. And when we talk about the soul food, I'm not talking about the Cajun food. I'm not talking about pig feet. I'm not talking about collard green or macaroni and cheese. I am talking this morning about soul food, which is the word of God, the appetite for your spirit, the appetite for your soul, the appetite for something that we bring true life to you that will not only nourish the body but it will nourish the body the spirit and the soul all together and that is this word of god so our subtitle this morning is soul food and when you talk about soul food sometimes they're like soul food ah we talk about macaroni and cheese. We talk about color green. We talk about pig feed. We talk about 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 baked potato and all those kind of good stuff that is good for the body. But this morning we are not talking about the food that you eat to edify your body. We will talk about the soul food about your soul, which is more important than your body. And as we go into it, I pray that the Holy Spirit will interpret the word into our heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So our text this morning will be found in the book of uh, Psalm 107, verse 9. So if you have your Bible, you can open it. And please, if you open your Bible, you can highlight it. It's a whichever way you open it, whether in your on your phone, whether in your real Bible, or whether any hour that you have your Bible, but please open it because it's important that we know who we are and what can sustain us. So that's why these three days, if there is anything that you pay importance to, I want you to pay importance to these three days because you are going to be blessed beyond your own imagination. That things that are weighing you down, when you feed your soul with the word of God, those everybody will be lifted up. And I pray this morning that as we start this topic today, the Holy Spirit we take them to our heart and we make use of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. David wrote in the book of Psalm 107, verse 9. He said, For he satisfied the longing soul and he filled the hungry soul with what? Goodness. Our God is a good God. Our God is a good God. So if your desire in life has not be to pursue, God, please change your priority today. Bring your perspective correct. That if your desire is not thirsty and hungry and anxious to get to know God more thoroughly, please take time out this week to seek what your priorities are. Because everything that you are, everything that you may be, anything that you may become, is going to be determined by how well you know the God that you serve. Many people serve the God of money, and they know the money very well. But they don't know the money all the way out. But the one that have control over money, that have control over soul, that have control over everything that you have, you need to learn to know him more. Because when you know him more, money will become an errand for you that you will not have to run after. So he said, if you're thirsty, it will satisfy you. If you're hungry or you're longing for him, he will feed you with goodness. So I will read our write out this morning before we take some contribution and I will uh, add more to, to what, we, what we are going to talk about this morning. He said, when you are sick, one of the first questions a doctor will ask in order to diagnose your problem is how well is your appetite? Because when you are lose, when you lose appetite, when your desire, when you when you lose desire for food, something it's wrong somewhere in your body. 
And the same principle apply to our spiritual health. How is your spiritual health? How are you nourishing your soul? How are you nourishing your spiritual health? So that is what I want to talk about this morning. That's what we want to diagnose this morning. How is our spiritual health? How are we? How is our appetite for the things of God? How is our appetite for the word of God? How is our appetite for what God has to offer to us or the commandment and the precept and the law of God? How is our appetite to that? And the same principle that applies to our spiritual health. One of the characteristics of a great man and woman in the scripture is that they hungered for God. They hungered for God in prayer and disciplined themselves to study and understand the word of God. The word of God is not just the blueprint that you read. It's not just the Bible that you carry. It's not just what you see on your tablet. It's God himself. When you put your mind into discipline with prayer in finding that who God is to understand him, you will only become better in his end, a tool, a better tools in his end to execute what he's planned for this world. And I pray this morning, that if there is anything that is standing in our way to be diligent, to discipline, to study and understand who God is, his word. The Bible says in John 1.1 1, 1, that in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. To understand his word, to understand God, that God will take that thing out of our ways in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What made evangelist Judge, Judge Mueller so successful? During his lifetime, he read the Bible through some 200 times. Not only just reading, but he read on his knee. He was, you know, 200 times. And more than half of those times, 100 of those times, it was on his knee, praying over while studying them. When was the last time that you pick up the scripture and you say, Lord, I want to hear from you? I want to hear from you. Or you make it a priority that every moment, once a day, every time in your pro, in your life, that from this moment onward, if you have not been doing it, from this moment onward, go on your knee and pick up the scripture and say, God, I want to hear from you. Speak to me. Judge Mueller, half of his 200 times that he studied the Bible, half of it was on his knee, praying, studying it. When you know God that well, you will know how to ask him and receive what you ask for. Hallelujah. <laughs> when you know God that well, there is nothing you want God to do that he will not do. You will know how to ask him. You will know which direction is directing. You will know before things start happening. You will pray specifically and get a specific answer. That's how the power of the word that is out the power of searching him when you seek him when the bible says, when you seek him you shall find him that is what it's talking about how long is your soul how is your appetite for god the truth is that we were born with a god-shaped blank inside inside of us and nobody but God can fill it. There is a hole in us. Every one of us, every creation, every human being that God has created, there is a place that is a hole. It's like a void. And the only person that can fill it is God. And until you find him to fill it, it will be empty. That's why you see so many people defaulted into something that they don't like to do. But they drug, alcohol, sex, and all of that stuff. It occupied their mind and they are now in living in a limbo that they don't know because they are not seeking God in where they need to find him. Only God can feel it and nobody above God can feel it. Greater success won't, won't more money, want more money, you know, another relationship won't even Living in one place and being a king won't even help you feel it. 
having all the cars, all the money, all the all the houses, all the money in the bank account won't fill that hole. Oh. That's why David said it. That's why David wrote, he said, Lord, teach me your decree. Psalm 119, verse 12 to 24. He said, teach me your decree. With my lips, I recount all the laws that comes from your mouth. I rejoice in the following your statutes. And one rejoice says, in great riches, I meditate on your precepts and consider your way. I delight in your decree. I will not neglect your word. Open my eye that I may see wonderful things of your law. Open my eye to see the wonderful things of what you have written. Not open my eye to see wonderful things of what my new my new car will be. Open my eyes to see the wonderful thing of what my motto, what my my house, my new my new house will be. Or open my eyes to see that husband that I'm looking for. Or open my eyes to see that woman. When you seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, trust me, that car will come, that house will come, that husband will come, that wife will come. Everything that you're looking for will come but ask him open my eyes so i can see the wonderful things in your word because once i find you i know i found everything hallelujah my soul is consumed with longing for your law my soul is consumed for longing after you, after you, after you. Remember now, John 1.1 1, 1 said, in the beginning was the word. The word was God, was with God, and the word was God. When you start longing after the word of God, you will find God. And once you find God, you find everything. Hallelujah. He said, my soul is consumed. My soul is consumed with longing for your law at all times, not when I need something, not when things goes wrong, not when things goes right, but at all time, in the difficult time, my soul long for you. In the good time, my soul long for you. Whenever there is nothing to do, my soul long for you. When everything is all well, my soul still long for you. Your statues are my delight. Your statues are my delight. And I think it's very important to understand that the statues of God, when you make the lightness out of the statues, things only can get better. Even when things are looking rough, you will be just be standing and say, oh, this is a rough road, but I have somebody that's a rough rider. He can take me through. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because why? When I delight in your world, they are my counselor. Your word is my counselor. The word of God is a soul food. The word of God is a soul food. So if you have been feeding your body and neglecting your soul, rearrange your priorities today. Turn things around. Stop neglecting your soul and feeding your body because the body will come become decay one day no matter amount of the freshness no matter amount of the of the of the plastic surgery no matter how much of the makeup there is no amount of whatever cream that you put into it to look glittering right now at the end it will all africa and they will all become what dust so stop feeding too much of your body. Start feeding more of your soul so you can live forever. Because the Bible made it clear that the heaven and earth will pass away. But the word, <laughs> what we are talking about today, we stand forever. And if the word is living in you as the Holy Spirit already in me, then that means you live forever. May God help us all. But if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you cannot, you cannot, because your delight will just be want to feed your soul, feed your body. You want to have a big thing. You want to have achievement. You want to, you, the word of God won't even be in your vocabulary. But today, you must think, rearrange your priorities. How can you rearrange your priority? By becoming born again. Because Jesus said, you cannot, you cannot see the kingdom of God except you come through me. And if you come through Christ, you can see the kingdom of God. So you must accept him as your Lord and personal savior. Confess him that Jesus, I am a sinner. 
have mercy on me. Wash me in your blood. I am confessing you today as my Lord and my personal Savior. If you say that prayer, welcome to the kingdom of God. Now you can now take the word of God and go to a church that is Bible believing, praying church. Tell them you just become born again. You want to know more about the word of God, about what God wants you to do. They will work with you. If you can find a church, go to rccg.org. You will find the redeemed Christian church of God worldwide. Talk to the pastor there. I just become born again. I want to know more about the word of God. They will teach you and they will work with you until you become established and your desiring will be to long after the things of God. And God will help us. The rest of us, the line is open. If you can contribute this morning, it will be great. I think what we need to prioritize in our life is nothing but what God wants to speak to us about. The devil is doing a great job on his part. It's pouring in our head how we can make money. It's pouring in our head. We are not making enough money. It's pouring in our head. The car that we're driving is outdated. He said the clothes we are wearing is outdated. But you know what? God is telling us at the same time that don't worry about those things. Worry about what is going to happen to your soul. This morning, God is telling you again to not worry about things that will perish, but look for things that will live forever. And the word of God is the only thing that will live forever. So feed your soul, feed your soul. Give your soul some good food and the good food is in the word. Because David said in that same book of Psalm 119, he said, your word have I eaten in my heart so that I will not sin against you. And God will help us in Jesus name. I will pause for a minute and take some contribution. I think I'm about 52 seconds over my time. Um, welcome contribution this morning. The word of God is a soul food. And may the Lord help us to prioritize his word in our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Contribution place this morning. Hallelujah. Glorious God, we bless you. Unto the Lord be the glory. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Yes, good morning, man. Good morning, man. Okay. Uh, it, it, you have broken everything down, and um, the topic is so straightforward. Yes. And uh, everything is broken down for us. Yes. The mind of God is being revealed here. What he, 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 his expectation is concerning us. And um, it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge because uh, there's so much distraction here and there. And the purpose is just to take our attention away from the things that are relevant, the thing that we actually need. We need the word of God to the extent to which we take in the word of God, to that extent we can actually act. And uh, you know, so we it is it is a concept for all this morning for us to spend time in his word, meditating, meditation in his word, finding time to be alone with him. No, the other time there was a topic that led to that, being alone with God, spending, spending time with God. So if we really want to make it, we really want to, you know, do something spectacular, we have to spend time with God in his world. It's a big challenge. This is the area where I have been battling with. This morning, I was literally crying before the Lord. I said, Lord, help me. I'm so distracted. We thoughts here and then, my children, this, that, 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 that. I'm reading the Bible. I'm thinking of oh, what's going on now with this and that. I say, Lord, I need your help. I didn't even I didn't even know what the topic today is. So it was when I pick up the, you know, the saw the topic today, so I say, Father, I will I even cried more. I say, help me. Because we find these great men and women of God that have really made a mark in history. They spend time in his presence. They meditate upon his work. I remember one, one when I was reading um, 
is it Sundry now? Sundry something, I can't pronounce his name, where, you know, where he went to uh, Smith Wigglesworth's house. He went there with newspaper and he said, please take that newspaper. We don't, they don't enter my house with newspaper. They are all lies. The only thing Smith Wigglesworth knew was the word of God. And that's why they made so much, you know, they really made so much. They did so much in God's kingdom because of the word of God that it takes in, you know. So I, it, it's my prayer, brethren, that as I pray for myself, I pray for my brethren, that the Lord will really help us in this area to go back to the word of God. There is no other way to it, you know. The pastor was saying something just now, no matter what you do, you, 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 you make up, you do this, you buy the most expensive cream, you want to look good, you want to buy the most expensive lipstick, you can buy them, fine. But your, our heart should not be taken over by the things of this world because they will all go with, they will all perish with the usage. The day a man dies, all of their eggs. In fact, you, you, you even age with them. In the next 10 years, 20 years now, some of us that are very young now, it's a different life entirely. So what matters is God, our relationship with God, taking in his word, waiting upon him fasting, asking him for impartation. This thing that I'm reading, Lord Father, let it be real in my experience. Let it become me. Let, let me live the life, you know. That should be our cry every day. And I pray that the Lord will help each and every one of us, especially in this part of the world where people really have to work and do this and do that. I pray that the Lord will help each and every one of us to be able to manage time, to be able to, you know, spend time with God in the midst of all the tight schedules. We'll be able to spend time with God. But brethren, let, let's, 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 let's take this matter to the Lord to help us to be able to actually spend time in studying his word and in, in spend time in praying and spend time in, in saying, God, Holy Spirit, let this word and read it. Let it become real in my experience. Help me to be the doer of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless us in Jesus' name. Man, thank you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, the spirit of God is one. You were actually asking for God to, 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 to help. And God told you that, yes, I'm here to help. And he just um, wants us to feed our soul. When we talk about soul food, it's not soul food of, of fulfilling the flesh. Um, many of us, we, we take a lot of time in, um, in our in, in making sure that our, our appearance looks acceptable to a lot of people, but we do not show our spirit in the same sense. We, like yesterday, my teacher was teaching, my, my, uh, my sister was teaching Sunday school yesterday. We brush our teeth twice a day, faithfully. We wash, sometimes take a bath, two, three times a day, faithfully, because it's part of what we know that if we don't do them, um, there is something bad that will happen. But our soul is neglect. We actually even pick up the Bible to talk about, to, to, to not to talk about we want to seek the face of God in reading it. We read it sometimes for ritual reason, just to fulfill our righteousness that I'm reading. We don't read to understand. And what David was saying here in that Psalm 112, verse 20, 24, Say, so open my eye that I may see the wonderful things in your word. My soul is consumed with longing for your law at all times, that your status will be my delight. I will not be delighted in what people say because of what I wear. I will not be delighted in what people say because of my complexion. I will not be delighted in what people say. I will be, it's okay to do all of those things, but the key thing that I'm delightful of is your word because it's the counsel to my soul. It's the counsel to who you want me to be. 
the word of God in our life is life. As the food gives nutrition to the body, so is the word of God give nutrients to the soul. And if you're feeding the body and you're not feeding the soul, change your priority. I don't say don't neglect your body. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you should feed your soul more so that your body can actually reveal the glory of God. Not the glory of man, not what man will say, but what God will say to say yes, his heart, our heart, desire is delighted in me. And whatever I need to do to make sure that people see me in her, people see me in him, and we do it. That's what God does. Thank you, Sir Bridget. And God will help us, like you said, for us to rearrange our life and our priorities to give time to the word of God. Not to just read for reading's sake. Not to just read to just say I've read it, but to read it and understand and let it be something that we long on. When God told Joshua, do not let this word, Joshua 1.8, don't let it depart out of your mind. Meditate in me day and night, everything that you need to do, then you will see success. You will see prosperity. Everything that you're looking for, you will find. And may God help us in Jesus' name. Any other contribution this morning? Hallelujah. Talking about soul food. The word of God is a soul food. We're not talking about the color green with a turkey neck. No, we're not talking about that. We're talking about something bigger than that. We're not talking about macaroni and cheese or peach cobbler. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about Pecan pie, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the word of God that bring nourishment to the soul. That bring nourishment to the soul. That help us to live a life that God expects of us to live. If there's no other contribution, we can pray tonight, this morning. Uh, we have three sections of it. I'm sure tomorrow, teacher, we, we even go deeper than what I've done today. And uh, Raya is preparing for Wednesday. I'm sure God will reveal more words to them. And they will, they will share depth of the, of the mind of God for us that we'll be able to, to see what God wants to do. Because brethren, without the word, challenges of this world, they're enormous. And it's only the word of God can see us through. My prayers are God will help us in all in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Brian, if you're okay to pray for us this morning, there is no other contribution, please. Prophesy to our life this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Sir. Um, like, uh, like all the, the contributions, thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Sister Bridget. Uh, uh, it is revealed to us, like uh, Pastor said, in one of those uh, in the Bible that was written, the Word of God is life. So if you want to live life abundantly and eternally, we have to actually, you know, have the Word of God in our lives. And it's been revealed to us that Christ is the eternal Word of God. So if we have Christ in us, that means we have life. Eternally, and he already said he is life, he is the way, and he is the truth. And most importantly, he's telling us that without him, we cannot achieve anything. So, without us being filled with the word of God, it is very hard for us to be able to achieve what we are called to do. And most of the time, we are on in a situation where we are in a start stop, start stop situation, we, you know, because we don't continually ab ab abide in him. And uh, that was, uh, even though it was an encouragement, it was also a warning for Joshua about abiding in the eternal world, because that was the only way that, even though it was, a, it was an encouragement that this is how you get to the end. But it was telling him that if you don't do it, you eventually might not get to the expected end. So for us, it is an encouragement, while it's also a warning for us that 
most of the struggles we have is because we are not being filled with it. And it's through those words that we are being revealed to. So if we really don't know the word, it's very hard for us to be revealed to because you know, even Christ was revealing to his own disciples, he told them that many things I'm telling you now, you probably will not understand until the Holy Spirit comes and reveals it to you. And most of the time when the, when the action, when the things now happen, the Holy Spirit now reveals to his apostles, and I'm like, oh, this was what Jesus said. Most of them, have, after he went, were like, oh, Jesus said this, Jesus said that. Because now, because the world, they've been, they, they have, they have abided in the world, but now they're more, now more, re, they are revealed to through the Holy Spirit, telling them, you know, the purpose of the world that was revealed. And most of us, we heard many different words, even from yesterday. Then the purpose of those words will now be revealed to us. But if we don't really know the word, that means if we don't know Christ, because Christ is the word. If we don't know him, it's hard for us to be revealed to. It's hard for us to know the path to heaven. So, so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the revelation of your word, of your will in Christ Jesus. We thank you for the love that you've shown us, because this love, the, the, this, there's no way for us to phantom this love, to, to come to the, you know, to the, to the fullness of this love without appreciating the sacrificial love that you have shown us in Christ Jesus. This love that, they, and that we don't deserve. Yes. That you have shown us. Because even with all our shortcomings and limitations and weaknesses, you have continually pursued us. Because like you said, even through the testimony of our sister today, Thank you. with all the weaknesses, you are still revealing yourself, telling us that the only way we can get to this expected end is to be filled with the Holy Spirit, yes. is to be filled with your word, yes. is to, to have your word living inside of us. Because they say the word of God is life, yes. is living. For us to be to have this word of God with us, and who is the word of God? It is Christ Jesus. And it's been revealed to us that without Christ, without us having the word, abiding in the word, dwelling in, in the word, there's no way for us to actually even get to the Father. Because we have to actually become the word for us to be able to get to the Father. Father, we thank you for this love that you've shown us through this revelation this morning. But like we have seen, we've heard many of these words. But Father, we are praying for the grace, oh Lord, to be able to, 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 to overcome in Christ Jesus so that we can be doers of this world. Yes. The faith, oh Lord, to, to, to put this word into action. The wisdom that we need to put this word into action. Yes. The wisdom, oh Lord, to, to, to focus on you, Father. The, the wisdom to be able to, 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 to yield to the Holy Spirit's leading. The wisdom and the grace we need, oh Lord, to be able to labor, to, to put in the labor of love, just like you have shown us the way. You have showed us the way by dying for us. Father, the grace for us to be fully immersed in the death, to Amen. crucify flesh, Amen. not to continue to be led, O oh Lord, by our own instincts and our own fleshy desires, but for us to be able to be led by the Spirit, yes, by dedicating and dwelling in your word. Yes, Lord. Father, we have struggled because we have continually looked onto ourselves, you know, for solutions. That is why we keep struggling. So every time we're not in you, then we are being led by our actions and flesh. But Father, we want to be in you. We want to know your way. Yes. We want to know your word. Yes. We want to know the, your, the purpose that you've created us, which is to become Christ. Yes. But Christ coming to show us the way. The grace not to continue to dwell in the iniquities of our, not to continue to carry these burdens or burdens and thinking we can, we have, we have control. The grace to lose control to you, not to continue to, to, to try and control all situations. That is why we continue to lose our way. That is why we don't have time to do, to, to, to abide in your world because we are trying to be in control. We are trying to hold on to different things, even though you are telling us to lose this baggage, to hand them over to you. He said, he said, he said we should cast our bodies onto you. Yes. We should cast our cares onto you. But yes. we continue to hold on to these cares. Yes. We continue to carry these burdens. And these burdens are drowning us. Mm. But we continue to live with it, thinking we are in control. The grace to lose control onto you. The grace to be able to, to seek you, to be patient in you. Oh Lord, the grace to be able to abide in your word. Yes. Oh Lord, to be still in your presence. That is why yes. we're praying. 
Lord. He said, he said, you should ask for wisdom if you are confused. Father, we are living a confused life, even though your word is very direct mm. and sharp, telling us mm. that you are the way to life. Mm. And how can, if we know that you are the way to life, while we continue, while, while we continue to live outside of your grace and love and plan for us, the grace, oh Lord, to be able to, 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 to put into action our faith to put into action what we believe in. If we truly say we believe you, yes. that we believe that you are the way, Father, help yes. us to know this way Amen. by knowing you, by abiding in your word, Amen. by abiding in your presence. They yes. said those who dwell in the presence of the Most High and abide underneath you, the shadow. But help us to abide and dwell in your presence, Amen. to know you, to be, to, to, to become you, O oh Lord, to seek your righteousness, to Amen. seek your kingdom, to treasure. You, 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 you treasure eternal life by living in Christ Jesus. But I will pray this morning, like our sister has revealed, and this is our struggle. We hear this word, yes. but are the grace to be doers of this word, yes. the equipment through the Holy Spirit, the equipment through faith in you, that you died for us and rose to give us life. Father, help us to be equipped Help us to, 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 we pray for wisdom and equipment through the Holy Spirit to be able to put into action, to make room for you, to worship you Amen. by abiding in your word Amen. this morning. And let your name be exalted. Thank you for the, the, the vessels that you have used this morning. Thank you for your word that has been expressed as we want to go forward today. Father, help us to be doers of your word. Amen. Help us not be just here as help us not continue to manifest flesh help us to crucify it and be resurrected with your life giving spirit filling us up thank you for what you've done and what you're still doing in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen let us share the grace this morning with the grace of our lord the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of the love of the fellowship of the earth be with us now. Be with us now um, forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely. Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the all days. days of our lives. And we shall do it. We shall do it. Amen. 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 Lord is blessed. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everybody, Amen. for joining. God bless you. Just keep digging in. Keep digging in. The Lord is there. Seek him, and you will find him in Jesus' name. God bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he shine his face upon you. Grant you peace all around in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.